Told us everything. Don't worry, I kept my word. He didn't suffer long. Here. You earned it. How does it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Ten days ago, we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Pass could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Pass to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Passes are only linked to suffer. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. Crackdowns are 
Go! Move! Who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point. Send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission means backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. from countries like Cuba and Haiti. Those ain't no jarhead birds, I can tell you that. Some paramount. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. If you 
ready your weapon while crawling. You can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster. enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. But it only works if you stop and take the time to focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try it.
the old prison area. The targets are there. It's open, boss.
you're standing down. Make contact with the target. Chico, it's me. No! No! Go away! Go away! Get off, man! Get me out of here, please! Get off me! Get off! Chico, keep it down! Go away! Right over here! Hey! You gotta let me out! You let me out, no! Get off me! Get off! Chico, calm down! I got Chico. And boss? Not here. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Is Chico able to walk? Hold on. Not gonna happen. You'll have to carry him out there. Okay, boss, change your plans. Call Chico over to the rendezvous point. We'll get Posse's whereabouts out of him once he's calmed down. I've marked the RV on your map. Okay, now carry Chico there. you don't end up head first in the ocean. <laughs> Roger that chopper request. It's headed your way now. The RV's just a little further. Great. You reach the RV. Put the target. Chico, where is Poss?
She's dead. When was this recorded? She's dead. On your feet. Okay. Chico was taken out of his cage. Did he leave the tape recording while he was being moved? Pass might be up ahead. I hear vehicles.
Now let's find Paz. If she's dead, we need to see the body to be sure. Boss, any clue where she might be? As of today, I will be living here at Mother Base. Now my real trial begins. Zadornov was paying my room, board, and tuition, but he has since been captured. I told the man that with no more money from the KGB, I could no longer afford school. He bought my story, and when I said I would be willing to work, he took pity on me and let me stay. For some reason, Miller really pled my case. That was helpful, but the man is still a fool. His men are no better. They think their training makes them strong, but that kind of strength is nothing in the face of true power. And better yet, they wait on me hand and foot, believing I am just a schoolgirl. Looks like I won't be working too hard after all. Just today, while scouting out the living quarters, I saw a group of them in the corner of the deck making a fuss. Going over for a look, I saw they were feeding a kitten. A bunch of grown hard men, and they are the ones acting like schoolgirls. Look, isn't he cute? What is wrong with them? Disgusted, I just nodded and smiled. I must stay in character after all. I indulged their chit chat for a few moments. Then one of them asked me to give the thing a name. They had just taken it from its mother. I named it Nuke. I improvised some nonsense about how our compassion for living things can help prevent wars. The men gave me a little fish. I held it out in my palm and the kitten happily ate it up. What a pathetic, feeble creature. It sickens me. Today, Chico invited me to go fishing with the soldiers. I suppose finding one's own food does have its merit. But I prefer not to be involved in such a degrading task. And their prattling on about fishing being fun is nonsense. I'm not here to find playmates. Nevertheless, distasteful as it was, I went along in order to maintain my cover. Chico thrust a fishing pole into my hands, and we went up onto the deck where several soldiers had gathered. They welcomed us warmly. With so few women aboard Mother Base, I'm treated like a princess. No one suspects I am neither a teenager nor a student. It was nice and sunny, with a gentle breeze and waves. As I cast my line and waited for a bite, the soldiers began to ask me all sorts of questions. As always, I answered according to our predefined scenario, feigning a smile. As I sat there feeding them lies, the fish began to bite and the soldiers began to focus on their prey. Chico had his bait stolen by a fish and got so angry that he stood up and nearly fell into the sea. Everybody laughed. It almost made me want to join in too. At some point, I got a bite myself. The instant after I felt that first gentle tug, the fish yanked the line with astonishing strength and I let out a cry of surprise. I thought he was going to be huge. It was my first time fishing, and I was a bit flustered, so the soldier beside me helped by supporting the pole from behind. Reel it in, they shouted. I nodded, turning the handle as fast as I could. I wondered what kind of fish live below the surface, and thought back to the deep sea dives I had to do as part of training. Those were difficult days, but I remember finding the multicolored fish gliding through the water incredibly soothing. After a hard fight, I pulled it up. To my surprise, it wasn't even half a vara. 
rather anticlimactic. But I wasn't doing it for fun, so I wasn't the least bit disappointed. Nuke was hovering nearby with an expectant look on his face, so I gave the fish to him. All in all. Thoroughly wasted day. Preparations are coming along nicely. No one suspects me of being the one to let Zadarnov out of his cell. Today, Amanda and I taught Cecile how to make gallo pinto. It is a simple home-cooked dish consisting of black frijoles mixed with arroz. It is well known throughout Central America, not just in Costa Rica. So it is no surprise that a Nika like Amanda would be good at making it. But I was raised in the States from a very young age and could hardly even remember my mother's gallo pinto. Having to make chit chat with that clueless bird lover and this so called revolutionary was excruciating. And, clueless or not, I wanted to be especially careful around Cecile, the one who actually regarded that. Thankfully, Miller and his men seem to believe I mistook the tape I found for one my friend made. In any case, one can never be too careful. Anyway, the three of us minced garlic and herbs, then cooked them in a pot with frijoles we'd soaked overnight. While waiting for them to cook, we sautéed onions and arroz in a frying pan. Cecile worked the frying pan according to Amanda's directions, but seemed a bit young. She does have a knack for cooking, though. She is... French, after all. We added water to the pan and watched the arroz begin to steam. While we waited, Amanda shared memories of her mother with us. They had been separated because of Simosa, but the taste of her mother's cooking was still fresh in her mind. When the frijoles were ready, we drained the water, stir frying them with the rest of the vegetables. Quite a complicated process for home cooking. Nonetheless, it kept them occupied. The longer we sat and talked, the greater the chance of my arousing their suspicions. With women, it is not enough to just bat your eyelashes and giggle. It takes a lot of effort to divert attention. When the arroz was done cooking, we folded it into the frijoles and added salsa, stirring the mixture as it simmered. At this point, for some reason, the conversation turned to romance. Why does it have to be that way whenever women get together and chat? Cecile fancies herself to be well-versed in such matters, and gave Amanda all sorts of advice. It was harmless enough, until, to my irritation, she began pestering me whether there was anybody I liked. Not right now, I said, trying to dodge the question. But she pressed on. It's Snake, isn't it? I gritted my teeth and played it coy. Maybe. Cecile nodded and giggled. He is pretty sexy, isn't he? What a ditz! It's all I can manage to just survive. The thought of romance has never once crossed my mind. I have no interest in that kind of man. Soon enough, a rich aroma began to fill the room. The gallo pinto was ready. New came over and rubbed up against our legs, looking for a handout. Unfortunately, it was not the kind of food a cat would like. We let a few of the soldiers have a bite, and then headed off to the mess hall. The home-cooked flavor we had achieved was a big hit with the men of MSF. Not that we are trying to impress them or anything. Even I could manage a dish like that. Snake enjoyed it too. Let me make this absolutely clear. I have no interest in that man. Football, or soccer as it is known in the States, is extremely popular here. It has not caught on yet in the US. But it has legions of rabbit. My cover is blown. They know nothing of Cypher or my true objective.
Get Possum onto the helicopter.
Target confirmed dead. <laughs> 